Growing up in South Central Los Angeles, Alonzo Menefield was surrounded by gangs and violence. He was one of six kids being raised by a single mom who herself was at times making bad choices. Things came to a head when he was at the age of 11, taken by Child Protective Services and placed into foster care with his siblings. But his life changed in an instant when finally in high school he was adopted and discovered sports. He went on to play college and arena league football and eventually his path led him to MMA where tonight he hopes to take another giant step toward building a future for his new wife and two kids. The fight is on here as Deshaun Boat right in the play. Oh, the man of field that I'm looking to end it quickly. And here's the oh my goodness! Getting through with the shots and there it is. He opened with a head kick. Alonzo Count just pumps him down. Three, four, big shots. Wow, over before it even started. There's a right hand over the top. Puts him down, gets position. One, two, three, four. Good shots. So he looked like he went out for a second, and one of the shots may have brought him back round. Menafield closed a minus 280 favorite tonight. Moreta came back plus 255. Oh! Big knockdown for Menafield. I mean, that's oh, huge right hand. The end could, could come here any minute. Yeah, it's over. Dan Mugliano steps in. That will do it. Alonzo Menafield has arrived. But I tell you what, he's learning to strike. Oh, 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 oh. I should say, young man, DC. Chase Hooper was born 11 days before UFC 22 in 1999. He is the youngest fighter on this entire UFC roster. But DC, there is no denying the skill set and the talent of one Chase Hooper. No, man, he's a very talented kid. He's so young that he goes, you know, man, honestly, we talked to him. He goes, I just now have to shave twice a week. I'm going through puberty. He goes, I'm so happy that twice a week I now have to shave my face. That makes him feel like a man. Yeah. But this young man can truly fight. He can really fight. He's got a lot of hype. People love him. I don't know if Tamer gets in it again if he's going to get out. I don't know if you get out of those rear chokes like that more than one time in a fight. Hooper cranking that head. Oh, he did a great job. Look at that. Tamer did a great job going to his back. Okay, trying to cover. Yep. Yeah. Trying to cover. Hey. Hey. Oh, he cut him up. Triangle. He cut him up. Wallace getting smashed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he just said his fight's done. He ain't going to work. Jason Herzog's very close yep. to stop it. There it is. The dream is alive and well. Wow. Chase Hooper making good on the debut tonight. Wow. Yeah, here we go. You see Chase diving on that ankle. Gets him to the ground, but gets really caught deep here in this anaconda choke. Boom, and he gets caught with a big right hand by Tamer. I mean, he faced adversity in this fight, but once it got to the ground here, you see him get that long body and those long arms around the neck. This is a big part of it here. I mean, the fact that David Tamer was able to get out of this choke is truly phenomenal. But once Hooper got on top of him with that mounted triangle, that was just nasty. And Jason Herzog, excuse me, Jason Herzog had seen enough. Beautiful performance by a 20-year-old kid. Chase the dream. Ooh, ah. On the other side all the way from the west side of Oahu in Hawaii is Maki Pitolo, who calls Yancey Medeiros a training partner, Max Holloway a training partner, says, I belong in the UFC. I'm going to throw these coconut bombs for hands. Here we go. Anytime he gets up against the fence, he just unloads with his long combinations. Very smartly, not putting. Oh, oh taking those body shots and down! Wow. Maki Pitolo, coconut bombs to the gut, and it's a first round finish. Wow. That was amazing. I was just saying, I didn't think he was putting everything into every shot, trying to pace himself, but man, he worked that body beautifully. A few early shots from Sumter. Look at the body shots with the yeah. left hand here, Michael. Look at them just over and over and over. Just working that body. And he goes down. If you've never taken a good body shot, let me tell you, they suck. So I'm not surprised Sumter went down like that. Nice work, though. Yeah. Look at that. Aki Pitolo now has six first round finishes.
He has six wins by knockouts.